Hi, I am Pear, and in this video I will winterize my I will winterize I will winterize my bullet crossfire RV. And it's model uh, 1900 RB, a 2016 model. When I have looked on YouTube for how to winterize these trailers, I have found uh, much uh, contradictory information. And it's probably because every single model of these bullet trailers is slightly different. I will also be doing the water tank winterization as opposed to the city water connection hookup. I don't use the city water connection, I only use the fresh water connection. One more quick side note, this uh, demonstration is not uh, anything that I've gotten from uh, the bullet company or Keystone or whatever. This is just the way I do it. One of the first things I do is I turn off the hot water heater and the water pump. I have removed the main heat shield that's in place because while that's there, it is very hard to do this. And that's even after I bought the special wrench. It's still a pain in the neck. After you get it all loose, the water will start coming out of there. Somehow I guess I should have let the pressure off of mine first. And there's also like a, an air vent here that you can open up, which will make the water come out much faster. From inside of the trailer I will use this uh, siphon type hose that I purchased from Amazon which snaps right in place on top of the old water pump. There's a there is a valve at the bottom of the water tank that you want to move from the horizontal position to the up position. This will prevent any antifreeze from going into the water tank which you don't want. On the back of the water pump is where I'm going to attach that hose that I bought. Once the hose is connected to the water pump inlet, the other end goes right into a bottle of antifreeze. I then go and turn back the water pump back on. the valves and the sink until it comes out pink on both sides. I do the same thing in the shower and the bathtub. Okay, you then go to the kitchen faucet and you do the same thing. I'll move the hot and cold water until they turn pink. Okay. You also want to do the toilet. In my case, I also have a shower head outside of the trailer, so I have to do the same thing there.
not very clear in this video that it's pink, but it is. For me, this procedure took about a gallon and a half to a gallon and three quarters of antifreeze. I then go and turn off the water pump. Now it's time to remove the siphon hose that I bought from Amazon.com and put the regular hose back on the water pump. With the regular water line back in place, I can now go outside and finish up out there. I uh, put the plug back on the hot water tank, just a half a turn or a couple of turns, just so it keep things from going in there like bees or whatever. And I closed the little air vent valve up there. I'm also going to remove the outside shower house and store it inside the RV. It's because it's kind of awkward the way it fits in there. There are two low point water drain plugs. I'm going to remove those for the winter and put them in the water heater compartment for safekeeping. Hello, this is Pear again. So this is Mark's end of my uh, winterizing my bu bullet uh, trailer.